Hey y'all, today we're talking about time wasters. Now, these time wasters can be friends, family members, associates, co-workers, anybody in your life who's there just wasting your time. Now, if you run across these time wasters, don't feel bad. You know, don't get down on yourself wondering why you keep missing all the red flags, why you keep getting in these same situations because time wasters come like wolves in sheep's clothing. You don't know who these people are until they've been in your life for a couple of weeks month or two or three then they really truly show who they are and that's the same way for anybody who can come in your life and they're not contributing nothing just there a manipulator narcissist toxic person dysfunctional whatever you want to call them you're not gonna know who these people are until you start spending more time with them because everybody gonna come around like they good decent person all nice they got your best interest in mind you know at heart or whatever you call it and you really think like wow finally met somebody that's decent Wow, not nuts like all these other people just there to use and abuse and get over on everybody. So you really think, wow, you got somebody. Now, I'm going to let you know how to look out for these time wasters. One thing that I've known is, for instance, that friend that come around, they always got a whole bunch of stuff to tell you about. They talking so fast, you can't even get a word in edgewise. It's like even if you disappeared, this person still would just be talking, you know, that like they wouldn't even notice if you fell off and went to sleep, started snoring. It's just like they just using you just to dump everything off. And then you, then you start justifying stuff instead of saying, man, I'm going to set up a boundary. I'm not going to let this person just come to talk off my ear so you just keep doing it why because you want to be nice you want to be liked but you're not realizing that this person don't like you like that they're not trying to be nice to you they don't care about your feelings because if they would they just wouldn't just come talk 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 and the thing is it's nothing wrong about a friend that's talking you would give some information they give some y'all help each other out because anybody who engage in any type of war and war don't have to be actually battle but any type of big decisions, you want to collaborate and talk to somebody you trust to get some feedback. You don't just want to throw yourself out there and um, making all these decisions and with nobody to bounce these thoughts off of. So it would be cool if it was a mutual bounce off, bounce off, bounce off relationship. But this time waits to just come and they just going on and on. And as soon as you think like, oh, okay, well, you justified. Like, well, I'm going to get a chance to talk. And, you know, I got some stuff going on at the job in a relationship, my family or whatever. And so maybe I, I'm going to get a chance to talk. So I, I'm going to be patient. And I'm going to sit here and listen. And sooner you notice an hour pass and you still ain't got to say a word in. Then it's time waste to finally take a breath. Whew. They take a breath, and now you take a breath, too, because you're like, oh, my God, they've been talking nonstop. So you're about to jump in and say what you're about to say. Next thing you know, the time waits to grab all that stuff. Oh, okay, well, thank you, nice. And and they, they hit it out the door. Ow. you like, oh, my, what what happened there? And because you're probably overly nice, you let it slide. you like, oh, okay, maybe they got work. Maybe they got something to do. Dang, I would have really liked to share what I was going through. And then you notice it keeps happening and happening and happening over and over again. And then you probably get to the point you may say something, but if you real overly nice, people pleaser uh, letting people walk over you you probably not saying nothing but eventually your blood start boiling you starting to get angry because you notice that this is a pattern you never get to share nothing of what you're going through this person's just totally wasting your time why i call them a time waster you could have been doing something else with that time you could have been spending time with your loved ones with your kids you could have been developing some type of business you could have been in prayer meditation yoga exercising so they wasting your time and dumping stuff all on you and they leave feeling good and you you feel like you got you carrying the weight of the world on top of you because they left all that junk and garbage on you and whoop they took on out they took out how you deal with this type of time waster i'm glad you asked because i don't like to just be pointing out the stuff about people but i want to get some tools on how you deal with them the time waster is totally you have to take that deep breath and remind yourself that you have not been given a spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind that you can stand up for yourself. And you just point it out to the person before they sit down and talk. This has happened three or four times. You know what it is. They coming over to chat, 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 chat. Soon as they get in, soon as they start talking, oh, man, I had a bad day. You stop it. Stop. You, you let them know, hey, you know, Jackie, I noticed. 
when you come over, I never get a chance to say nothing about what I'm going through. You just come in and you just dump everything off on me. And then you get up and leave. To me, this, this don't feel like a, um, a relationship that's even. I just feel like taking advantage of when you do that. And you may be thinking, if you're a people pleaser, oh my God, that sounds mean. Why, are you, why, why does that sound mean? No, it doesn't. It sounds like somebody that's standing up for themselves. Jackie don't care about you. Jackie has been using you. And you trying to be so pleasant and nice and accommodating for Jackie who don't care one thing about you. That's the issue. These people, these um, negative people keep on getting a chance to do what they want to do because we, I'll say we, because I've been there a lot myself and I have to constantly practice not to be there, you know, and uh, allergies, excuse me. So we have to, to start putting our foot down and calling these people out and um, giving them consequences for this bad behavior, just like you would do a child. If you don't give a child a consequence, they're going to keep doing the going down the wrong path and the same thing with adults. People need consequences why you think there's so many laws in this world and police flying all around because even adults need consequences so you say and of course jackie may be like oh no i never noticed that then you still stick 10 toes down on what you're saying well i've noticed it and i don't like it you know and then you let the person know what you're going to do you let the person know look you share with me now I'm going to share with you. If they want to get up, let them get up and leave. What are you going to lose? The only thing you're going to gain is your time back. So if you notice that now that, that Jackie, like, you can let her know you talk for 20, I talk for 20. That way I feel it's even. And Jackie feel like, oh, that's petty. You know, oh, that's stupid. Oh, you want the time. I talks and stuff. You know, this feel inorganic. Then this lets you know that Jackie was never really there for you anyway. Like I've already told you, she could care less about you let Jackie go and um, hijack somebody else time and waste somebody else time if Jackie could be a genuine person but see this is why you want to speak up about it because some people are doing toxic stuff and they don't really know but most of them do know but let's give this person the benefit of the doubt and you do that by speaking your mind about it so if jackie agree to that y'all both give and take then that's totally fine but if jackie keep on bringing it up being negative like oh my goodness you doing this you doing that i don't like that you're keeping score this is patty let jackie go on about her business stop answering jackie phone calls or if jackie come over you let her talk for 10 minutes then you be like oh i gotta go and standing firm on your boundary a boundary is nothing if you don't enforces so you don't have to tell Jackie I'm giving Jackie 10 minutes to talk and then after that I'm kicking her out you can keep that in your head you can count down like to yourself 10 minutes no matter where Jackie is in her story you are not being rude and it's like okay you even get up and walk to the door and open it if you need to oh uh Jackie I got something to do and Jackie what you mean you got something to do I just started talking blah, blah, blah. yeah I got something to do you don't have to go into details about what you got to do with Jackie get Jackie the heck out of there if you feel that this is a friendship you want to keep you're gonna have have to set some type of boundaries around the time you talk even if it's a phone call cut jackie off at that that 10 minutes or whatever don't always be so quick to pick up jackie phone calls don't be so quick to um do the text with um reply quickly with jackie so what if jackie noticed that you being different you ain't responding quick and she like well what you got going on you don't got this going on you ain't got this why can't you answer and you ain't you can just tell jackie when i'm available i answer if i'm not available that lets you know i'm not available and that's it. You ain't got to go because you put yourself Jackie up here and yourself down here. If you start going into these long details and explaining yourself, because the person who is explaining themselves is always on the lower level. And the person they're explaining themselves to is always at a higher level. And so if you know, you know. So you ain't got to go there with Jackie. Another time waster. The people that's always in a bad situation. You know, every time you talk to them, it's woe is me. They got trouble on the job, trouble in their marriage, everything that's going wrong in their life. And then you listen and you listen and listen. But then afterward, you start feeling like, dang, this person always presented me with the same problem. They never talking about solutions. So then here you go trying to be a good friend. You start talking about solutions like, oh, well, have you considered this about your job? Have you considered getting another job? Have you considered getting another um another person to date have you considered moving to another city and then every time you say something guess what they do 
they start shutting you down. They always get a ton of excuses. Oh, I can't do that. Cause if I do this, it's not gonna go right. I tried that back in 1920, you know, 19, whatever year, 99. That didn't work for me. Oh, my mama tried that and it didn't work for her. Our family don't work for us like that. You know, we tried and then you're like, oh my God. So you noticing that this person is just strictly a time waster because all they want to do is just vent and they don't want no type of solutions like for instance years ago i used to have this person I, every time i get on the phone they're telling me all this they little sob stories they ain't got no food they don't know how they're gonna pay this bill they don't know how they're gonna pay that bill and i started saying well have you thought about getting a job because this person was all a narcissist always talking about how talented they are and how much more um talents they have than other people and how great they are well you so great shouldn't your talents make room for you and shouldn't it give you money resources connection to other people to have abundance so you not constantly telling me how um broke you are because if you're so talented shouldn't that equate to some type of money huh help me out in the comments let me know i'm just wondering if you haven't already like go ahead and like this video share this video if it's resonating with you i'm not done yet if you want to book a session with me that's going to be in the information below if you have not gotten my books from amazon make sure you click in the description you're going to see the links to the amazon you can get a paperback copy or ebooks i should have worn a curtain a novella part one part two and my full length novel road to malevolence all by samira alexander so yes thank you for those um who subscribe and also for those that's helping me get my watch time hours up because y'all know we on the road to about to get um monetized i'm at 3700 hours i need 4000 so guys if uh you don't mind if you will go ahead and watch my videos that you have not watched you will still learn some information and learn some tips on how to heal your learn tips on how to spot negative um family members friends and what to do about that so don't sleep y'all on my old videos if you ain't checked them out yeah you may say the older topic i don't know if that's something for me click on that thing and listen you may get you may get something that you need you know because sometimes people be asking me questions and i've already covered it in old videos check them videos out and help me get the watch time hours up you're not just helping me you helping yourself get some information and you may come up with some more questions let me know and it may give me some video ideas Back to what I was talking about so and thanks for all my subscribers I really appreciate y'all okay so yeah this person super talented or whatever and then can never have any money at least that's what they say this is a time waster why because they're not listening to any of your solutions this person don't want solutions all this person do is just want to vent and to monopolize your time and some people are like that on purpose they they get a kick out of taking away your time knowing that you could be doing something better than your life for them it's a thing of control like oh i'm controlling this person's time they they said they need to cook an hour ago i'm still gonna keep talking so now i'm gonna make them cook an hour and a half later they said they need to get their kids um together for school the next day i'm gonna make them late on that you know oh they said they need to leave to go take their daddy somewhere to um, pay some bills i'm gonna make them late on that some people think like that and you're naive if you think they don't because they do it's a sick cold world a lot of times and so and then sometimes people just want to vent but what I've noticed is that these people that's time wasters and always complaining and talking and nothing ever going right in their lives, they never come out and just say, hey, I don't want to solve my problems. All I want to do is just take up your time and just, I just want you to listen. I don't want you to offer me any feedback. I just want you to do the occasion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so I can know you're not dead on the other line or in front of me. Just act like you're alive and just let me listen. Now, if they would say that, then you can make up your mind if you want to waste your time. Maybe you're bored and that's okay with you. But if you're not bored and you got something to do, they need to respect your, 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 your right to say you're not interested. And that's where standing up for yourself comes in you can say to the person like hey i know and again you're not being mean you're being assertive if you have a problem with being assertive chances are people are taking advantage of you and will continue to do it until you start standing up for yourself how i know i've been there before i can write a book on it y'all anyway you have to say to this person hey i notice that when we talk you continue to tell me the same stories and I try to give suggestions on how you can fix that but it seemed like you don't want to hear it you always have 
reasons why you can't do it and you can say to the person have you noticed that and if they say um no i haven't noticed it well then i have noticed that and for me it feels like for, i'm feeling frustrated you're not saying you're frustrating me you're this you're this you're saying i i i i'm feeling frustrated when you do that because i feel my time is wasted not that you're wasting my time you're a time waster you're doing this you're doing that that's why sometimes people that's empaths or people that's kind come across looking a bit nuts because they're like going off and like you, 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 because they're holding stuff in this anger and this frustration, resentment so long that then they start going off on people and pointing the finger, you, you, you. So try the I, I statements. I feel used when you do this. I feel my time is wasted when you do that. I feel upset because we're talking about the same things, but there's no solutions or you shut them down. If these people decide that they're going to want to listen and actively make some changes where they and you can tell them, hey, if you want to vent, I don't mind you doing that for 10, 15 minutes. But just tell me up front, Samira, I just want to talk and I just want you to listen. I don't want no solutions. You know, I just want to just vent. I just had a hard day. Is, is that OK? Can I do that with you today? And then I would tell that person, yes, you can. Let's do it for, you know, let's do it for a little while. Or I would tell the person, I don't have the mental capacity or I'm not up for it today. I've had a long day myself and I just really just need to relax. So I'm not up for it today, you know? And that's your total right. You're not being mean. So you got to watch out for these people, y'all. And lastly, I don't want to hang on around for this one. This is the type of person will come in your life and make all type of plans. And I've spoken on this a little bit before, but I'm really going to flesh it out. They will make all type of plans with you. Y'all got vacations planned. Y'all supposed to be backpacking across Europe, driving across America like Thelma and Louise. Y'all got all kind of stuff and they'll wait till the last minute to back out. And it's like, dang, you have really rearranged your week. You called off from work. You got babysitters. You've done all kind of stuff. You've hyped yourself up in the head for just for this person to let you down. Or this person may come to you talking about, oh, let's collaborate on some type of business. You get all excited. You start getting your little money out of savings. You buying you a new laptop. You get getting new stuff to do your business, y'all. You getting machines to make shirts and so you can decorate the shirts and all kind of stuff on it. Put tail some iron on the front, whatever like that. And you really think this person about to do it? They told you they about to give you some money. They gonna cash app you. You 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 getting some of the stuff already, but you thinking you know like they used to say, counting your chickens before they hatch. You really expect this money to come in the day they supposed to see. And you, you like, hey, well, what's up, um, Trina? You said you're going to um, send me the money at 12 um, a.m. And now it's 12 p.m. Then here they go. Oh, you know, some came up. I can't do it this week. Blue, blue, blue. And you like, okay, well then, you know, that sucks. I wish you'd have told me this before. I wouldn't have went out and spent all this money. So what about two weeks later? Oh, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know. And you like, dang, you ain't going to have the money then either. You know, you got me all hype talking about we going to do this. Now you're not going to do it. And then they, as soon as they see you start doing it, then here they go all of a sudden. If you start working for you, then they want to come along and try to send you $5 and talk about, yeah, um, cousin, yeah, friend, yeah, um, co-worker, we came up with this business together. We came up with this together. You know, they just lurking because they a time waster. They knew good and well when they were talking to you on the phone, face, um, on Zoom, Skype, whatever it was, uh, texting you. They knew good and well they were just... Just wasting your time. They knew they weren't going to put no money into nothing. They knew they weren't going to do nothing. All they was going to do is sit back in that little cut and try to see if you were going to be dumb and put the money and the effort into it because then they want to sit back and wait to see, oh, is it doing well? They ain't going to share your business um, with nothing, you know, with nobody. They, 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 they'll like it occasionally, but you know, they just sitting back lurking, waiting to see if you're going to take off because if you do, then here they come. Whoa, cousin an old family member, old niece, old nephew. I knew you could do it. I knew we could do it. Then they're going to start putting a we in it. Yeah, I, I love it, man. So when can I jump in? you like, what? But yeah, that's all they doing. 
And, and they gonna keep on doing it if you never put your foot down and call them out like, oh, I know you a time waster. Cut them off or whatever you need to do because they knew they were a freaking time waster. You don't always gotta explain yourself. Some of these people be on some stupid stuff want you to explain why you cutting them off. Man, sit down somewhere. They already know what it is. You know, do you crazy, but then think they need a, want, want to try to put you at an unequal um, spot and put themselves up here like you some little kid down here and they the adult. Why you cut me off? What I do? You should have told me. And you know, like trying to put you in a kid spot like you a kid, they the adult. Get the heck out of here. They knew what they were doing. But it's up to you if you want to call them out on it. You can. You know, and then you ain't got to um, necessarily cut this person off fully, but you know, don't get into no business ventures with them. You know, other time wasters who want to tell you all about um, somebody um, beating them up, domestic violence, stole their car, giving them all type of STDs and crazy stuff. And then you, they want you to hear about it, talking about how they going to leave. You try to put them up in a hotel. You try to give them some counseling or give them some referrals to counseling. And they keep coming to you, telling you all this horrible stuff, telling you how the man or the woman is a narcissist and toxic and all this kind of stuff. I can't believe it. Fake hypocrite. Supposed to be religious. And then next thing you know, this person um, keep going back to the person. And then if you said anything about the um, person they left, they telling they, they went after they have sex, they cuddle up together with that pillow talk. Yeah, you know, Samira so tried to get me to leave you. Said that I was better than getting my eye blacked every other week. Then the person mad that you probably come looking for you trying to black your eye. These are time wasters. I'm not talking about people who like a domestic violence relationship. Yeah, they may leave a few times before it sticks. You know what I'm saying? Because, and they go back. Because sometimes the threat of death or whatever like that. But I'm talking about the people who more than a, a whole bunch of times, I'll just say however many you feel that's too much for you. You you do the math on that. But they keep on leaving. Keep on and coming back. But keep putting you in the middle of it. You know, taking up your time with it. Knowing they going back to um, Crazy Johnny. It's like if you going back to Crazy Johnny, you don't need to put me in it. Because I don't need him showing up on my on my doorstep. You know what I'm saying? And then I got to make some or something like that. You know, I ain't got, I ain't got time for that or, 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 or try to stab him or something like that. I ain't nobody got time for that. If you want to be with Johnny and he giving you HPV, gonorrhea, chlamydia, you just stay there. Or if, And again, you can tell this person, look, I notice you just keep telling me, you know, you don't want to be with this person. And you got me on the phone four, five, three hours talking about him and stuff. But then you keep going back. You know, if you and you can tell that person, look, if you want to vent, just tell me. You want to vent because if you don't tell me that i'm thinking you're looking for solutions i'm thinking you're leaving for good i'm thinking you want the number to the domestic violence shelter i'm you know i'm thinking that we about to problem solve here if that ain't what you want it's cool i could care less this is your life this is your relationship y'all y'all gotta speak up to these people because if not they gonna keep wasting your time like you do what you're gonna do i ain't got a dog in the fight you stay with little crazy johnny y'all be toxic together that is totally fine but just tell me you want to vent you know, don't keep pulling me into that. I can't be on the phone with you one, two hours, t 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the most if I have the mental capacity to hear you because I got stuff going on in my life. And typically people like that, they ain't really care what's going on in your life. They just using you to monopolize the time. Little Johnny just mad. She just got sick. He was cheating on her more than usual. So now she want to vent. Knowing good and well she ain't about to leave him. You know, she just want to take up your time. You know, you could have been cooking your spaghetti, folding clothes, doing your laundry, but you can't because she on the phone talking about Johnny, knowing good and well if he turned around and tell her the next day that she can come on back home with, with the chlamydia that they both got and they can still make great passionate love and both have chlamydia anyway. She about to go running right back to Johnny. Don't even waste your time with her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. If this video resonates with you, like this video, share this video with other people, subscribe if you haven't subscribed make sure that you're watching my old videos let's get those subscription um out watch hours up so you can also get the information you need about narcissistic families and friends so you can learn the signs and how to avoid some of this stuff bye